going on YouTube? It's your boy JL Musi. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a golf ball in Maya quickly and efficiently using a mesh network in combination with some simple primitives. We're going to be taking advantage of MASH's distributed node to place smaller spheres along every vert of our bigger volume. Then we'll go ahead and do a booleans operation and we'll cut into the mesh. So enough yapping from me and let's get on with the video. I'm going to start by creating a uh, primitive here and I'll go to platonic solid and I hope I don't butcher this name, but I'm going to select a docahedron. And I'm pretty sure I still butcher that pretty badly. But um, I'll go ahead and run a average vertices here. Uh, what that's going to do is uh, space out these verts a little bit better. And then uh, from here, I'll create a sphere. And I'll just go ahead and uh, grab all these um, verts and just scale it down. So I need to change my uh, interface here to be able to display uh, a mesh network. So with the sphere selected, I'll go ahead and create a mesh network. And by default, it'll create the mesh network along with a mesh distribute node. What basically the mass distribute node is doing is pretty much like it sounds. It's going to distribute that one primitive that we selected. Uh, and we can go ahead and change up how uh, mass is actually spreading this thing around. So what I'm actually going to do is change this to mesh. And what I need to do is actually select our bigger volume, which in this case is the platonic solid. So uh, I'll need a combination of the uh, outliner here along with the mash distribute node open. Because essentially what we're going to do is drag the platonic solid into the mesh input of the uh, mash distribute. I'm going to middle mouse click the platonic solid over to the input mesh. And then I'll go ahead and change the method over to a vertex and also select flood mesh. So essentially what this is doing, it's gonna place a sphere in every vert aligned with the normals of that bigger platonic solid. Now the beauty about working with mesh is that these are all instance off that original sphere. So if I go in here and kind of flatten out this sphere, uh, you'll see that all of my uh, instances uh, go ahead and update. So this makes a pretty flexible system. And I actually want these a little bit more shallow since the golf ball, the indents are actually not that deep. From here, I'll go to Boolings, Difference, and you'll see that my spheres are cutting into the bigger platonic solid. So believe it or not, we're actually done. This model is officially a wrap. You could definitely see this was done very quickly. This roughly took me about two minutes while narrating and explaining the process. So a sh complex shape like this could realistically be done in under one minute. Now, what I went ahead and did is a different variation uh, to show you and open up your mind to the different possibilities uh, that you could actually create using uh, a simple primitive and the mash distribute node. So that wraps up my short video on how to use MASH, its distribute node, along with a simple booleans operation to create a complex object like a golf ball very quickly and efficiently. I hope that you're able to take parts of this workflow and pretty much make it your own and come up with your own models using MASH and the distribute node. I hope that you enjoyed the recording. Don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel and smash that notifications button to be informed as soon as I release my next Maya video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.